Saka Fet YouTube and let us make some curry goats. gorgeous curry gourd setup for today in here I have about a kilogram of goat meat that I already just cleaned and what I did after I cleaned it rinsed it washed it I just lined the bottom with some paper towels just to get rid of any excess moisture at the bottom of our goat meat but yes let me just run you through the ingredients that we'll be using today so for fresh seasonings we have some peppers we have some thyme spring onions and garlic I also have my green seasoning over here. You can find the recipe by searching Terrian's Kitchen Green Seasoning. I'm going to be using my complete seasoning today by Badia. And if you don't have this, you can always just use some all-purpose seasoning. I have my sea salt, black pepper. I'm going to be using these two potatoes later on just to thicken up our gravy. And you know, potatoes go so well in some curry goat. For my curry powders today, I'm going to be using this Baron Foods curry powder. And this is what's going to give it that authentic St. Lucian taste. Guys, so beautiful. I really love this company. Really hoping to work with them at some point. I'm also going to be using this Better Pack curry powder and some of this one I got from Aldi. So it's a mix of three different curry powders that we'll be using today. So let's get started with this beautiful curry goat recipe. So I've just gone and removed that paper towel from underneath. Okay. And then to season it up, I'm just going to go in with my sea salt, black pepper, complete seasoning. Then we're going in with our curry powder. I'm using all three different curry powders today. And you just want to put a generous amount like you're being sponsored by these curry companies. <laughs> Now go in with your green seasoning, then add in those fresh seasonings. Beautiful. Now this is where you go in with your clear wrap and you just want to wrap it up. Okay, my loves? Very important. This step is very important. That marinating step where you push it into your fridge for a few hours overnight, very important. Look at how beautiful the curry looks even when it's raw. Oh my goodness. You see this, my loves? Very important, that looks so beautiful and it is not even cooked. So into my fridge, I'm gonna put this into the fridge for about three, four hours. I am seasoning this up about seven, eight in the morning. So I will be um, cooking it around lunchtime. So into my fridge for about three, four hours and I'll come back and show you what to do next. Oh my God, look at that, so beautiful. So this is my beautiful curry straight from the fridge it's been marinating for the past four hours okay now like i said guys two hours will work fine but as you can see this is looking so good and if i bring it up close you can almost smell it <laughs> so this is the beautiful pot we'll be using today i absolutely love this pot and i'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit of oil in there I'd say about a tablespoon of oil. You don't want to put too much oil in there and you want to allow that to heat up nicely before we go in with our seasoned curry gourd. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That looks so beautiful. So gorgeous. So once it starts to heat up, this is where we're going in with our gourd meat. Okay.
So guys, so once you've added all of your curry to the pot, this is what you're left with, okay? I'm gonna step back to one side, and what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna leave this and cover it up for about five minutes because I need it to spring its own juices. In the meantime, you just wanna go ahead and turn on your kettle because we're gonna need some warm water for this, okay? This is our, whew, look at that. Do you see all those juices? We haven't even added any water. Guys, this is looking so amazing. So amazing. So now we're just gonna go ahead and stir that up. Okay, and you see what I said about not adding any liquid? You didn't have to add any liquid to this. Okay. Just wanna stir it up. Look at that, my loves. This is going to be such a beautiful pot of meat, guys. That looks so beautiful. Remember I said to boil your kettle? I'm just going ahead and just adding about a cup and a half of water in here, okay? Beautiful. We're gonna go ahead and just cover it up and allow it to cook low and slow for about an hour. Okay, it's been going for about 15 minutes so far and I'm just gonna cover it up let it cook for about an hour and then we are going to come back and add those beautiful seasonings but not as yet so what you want to do turn down the heat to the lowest okay to the lowest and you just want to cover it up and leave it for about an hour i'll come back and show you how it's looking in an hour okay do you see how rich it's looking amazing in about half an hour and I am just checking. Oh my goodness, look at that, my darlings. I'm just going to stir it up. Now, one thing that I have noticed is that because the meat may not be as fresh, you may find that the goat meat will take sometimes even two to three hours to cook, okay? But this was fresh goat meat, like literally fresh, fresh. This is not frozen or anything, and it's gonna cook really, really quickly. So I just came and checked on it at the half hour mark just to see how it's coming along. It's looking really beautiful. It's got that rich, gorgeous color that I love. And I'm gonna cover it again for the last half an hour before we go back in with our potatoes and all that good stuff, okay? So guys, it's about time I show you how the curry goat is coming along. So I'm just gonna stir it up. Just add in your potatoes. And this is the two small potatoes that I showed you guys from the start. Look at that, my loves. Okay, just mix it up well in there. And then I'm gonna add in all those leftover seasonings as well to the pot, which will really help to flavor up the pot again. I'm also adding some water in there as well, all spice berries in there as well, just a few of them. Okay, about three, four of them. And this is going to be the last half an hour of cooking. So now that I've gone back in and added in those fresh seasonings that we added from the start that I left behind, I'm just going to give it half an hour more. By then the potatoes would be cooked, the gravy would be nicely thickened. So guys, there you have it all done. Look at that, my darlings. Oh my goodness. Do you see how beautiful? Look at that, my loves. And we have a beautiful gravy going on. As you can see, these potatoes are nicely cooked and they really help to thicken up the gravy just a little. Oh my goodness, guys, this is going to be amazing. So amazing. Let me show you. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh my God. You must be thinking, is this not hot? It is, my loves. Oh my God. I'm going ahead and just turn off my pot. And... I am just going to garnish it with some spring onions. Listen, this is amazing. This is the best. So I do hope that you enjoy the recipe. If you try it at all, don't forget to tag me on Instagram at Terrian's Kitchen. It is a pleasure having you here, of course. And I'll see you again in my next one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.
So just in case you're wondering what I'm having this with, I'm having this with some white rice, with some coconut milk and thyme, and we have some steamed cabbage over here, of course. Got my avocado, just cannot wait to plate it up. Yes, my darlings, absolutely beautiful.